All right, Shalom, Yashala. Back with another GMS on the go. This is the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before we go any further, we'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone from teaching us this truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And a double Shalom to all the society throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth from righteousness and sincerity to the best of ability. And me and the brother Isaiah was able to get up today, and we're just going to go into a lesson on how the famine of the word is coming. Let me say that again. The famine of the word is coming. So without further ado, you want to give me that um, Amos 8 and 11 real quick? Okay. This book of Amos chapter 8 verse 11, and it reads, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land. Right. And a famine is a shortage of something. You see? A famine is a, 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 a lack of something. Or a want of something. You see, so the days is coming to where there's going to be a famine in the land. And what land is that talking about? It's talking about the land of America. Can you read that from the top again? This is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water. Right, because that's not the famine that Amos is talking about. Even though there is going to be a famine of bread and thirst for water. But again, that's not the famine that Amos is talking about. Read on. But of hearing the words of the Lord. Right, but of hearing the words of, y of Yahweh. You see this King James Bible, this 1611. You see, because the days is coming to where soon come, you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans are not going to be able to to receive the true breakdowns of the scriptures. You see, because soon come, Esau, the so-called white man, is going to shut down the internet to where you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, who are the real biblical Hebrewites, can't go online to watch any more videos that the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, to the men on down, have been putting on YouTube for all these years. And not only that, soon come the men of the Lord, starting with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, to the men on down, we're not going to be going out to the highways and byways anymore either. You see, because you're going to have martial law going on, race riots going on, and so forth on. And we're not going to be out there on the highways and the streets, you see, trying to teach this word in the midst of all that madness and chaos. You see, Lord Will will be somewhere hiding, praying to the Lord, meditating on these scriptures, telling you how about you, my shot, to, um, come back and deliver us. Mm -hmm. um, can I jump in real yeah, quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a pre so for you too. You know, it's ultimately the Yahweh by Shem, It's ultimately the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shai, which is gonna um basically cause this so-called this red socket, not so-called this red Hebrew Edomite, which you know is the so-called white man today, to shut the internet down. You know, because like, Yahweh by Shema Shai is controlling everything. You know, I got a precept for you. Right. Well, I'll break it down. This is Ecclesiastes three and one. To everything there is a season, and to Every and a time to every purpose under the heaven. I'm, right, so it said to everything there is a season. You know, just like you got summer, winter, spring, and fall. Well, those are your seasons. So it said to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Mm -hmm. You see, so there's a season and there's a time for everything that play out in its perspective order. You see, under the heaven. Yep. This is um verse seven. A time to rent and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak, you know? Like the brother was saying, you know, during the martial law troops, when all hell is breaking loose, that's going to be a time for the men of the Lord to keep silence, you know? Because our job, when we go out there on the highways and byways, is to warn our people to tell you, that, to prophesy unto them, to tell them that things are going to happen before they happen. And once our job is complete as prophets, you know, we have no longer um, need to speak unto our people, you know? The things that Yahweh Shema Shai, once again, that's who you people ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, has put on us, put on our spirits to tell you, it has already came to pass. We have no, no, um, more, no longer have need of being out there, you know? God. Now is our time to keep silence. You want to Amos or you want to get, we're going to finish out Amos. No, Amos. you said right now, that's not time to mean right now, it's time to speak. No, yeah, I mean, at that time, it's going to be oh, our so time to keep silence. God, God, you know, the water, bro, if I said that. But, um, Amos? Yeah. This is back in the book of Amos, chapter 8. And, um, verse 11, I'm starting in the middle. Okay. It says, I'm going to start from the top. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, 
Thou wilt send a famine in the land, mm -hmm. not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, mm -hmm. but of hearing the words of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. Oh, Isaiah 55 and 6. Come. Right, so some come. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, y'all are going to be going all over, you see, trying to find this word. You see? Soon come, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, y'all going to be trying to seek for the word of the Lord and the men of the Lord that was preaching this word. And guess what? Y'all are not going to find it. You see, y'all going to go crazy that day. Y'all going to be ready to pull your hair out because y'all are going to know that this word really meant something and that this word was really special. You see? So again, 230 so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, when this famine of the word hits, when this famine of the word pops off, y'all are going to go crazy because y'all are not going to be able to find the word and the men of the Lord preaching this word. So knowing that a famine of hearing these words is coming, what should you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans be doing? Mm -hmm. well, next precept. Very quick. Uh, okay, I, got, got I got a definition of seek. Um, it says to seek, um, require, uh, ex a request, you know? So a lot of people, it says seek the face, to demand. Uh, so a lot of people to be sought, a lot of people are going to be looking for this word. They're going to be requesting for it. They're going to, they're going to demand this word. You know, they really going to be looking for this word. Why? Because the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of scripture is going to be able, it's going to be the stability of our times. You know, that's what's going to be able to keep us stable when all hell is breaking loose. Right. This is, um, Isaiah 55 and 6. That's why you got to be seeking the Lord right now. It's Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, while he may be found. Right. It says, seek ye the Lord, not Allah, not Buddha. Not the Hindu god of Shiva, not Santa Maria, not Haile Selassie, not Baphomet, not Serapis, not none of these false gods who are no gods. You so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, you're supposed to be seeking Yahweh, who the word any calls God, who so-called black men. And how do you seek Yahweh? You seek him by his men that he step on the highways and byways. You see, because Yahweh, Bashim al Shah, they speak through men, according to Amos 3 and 7 and St. Luke 10 and 16. Mm-hmm. It's a different topic again, Baba Gashaw. Isaiah 55 and 6, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, while he may be found. Right, so you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, you got to seek the men of the Lord. You see, by the way, the apostles of Elder Great Millstone, 10 men on down, while we may be found. Meaning what? While we're still putting up videos on YouTube. While we're still going out to the highways and byways week in and week out. You see, because again, a famine of hearing these words is coming. And it's coming to a town near you. Yep. While well, the Spirit of the Lord is still on us to teach this word, you know? Mm-hmm. And it reads, call ye upon him while he is near. Right, call upon him while he is near. Again, not Allah, not Buddha, not the Hindu, Hindu god of Shiva, not Santa Maria, not Haile Selassie, not none of these false gods who are no gods. Call upon him, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, who the word even calls God and Jesus, who so-called black men. You have to call upon those names while they're still near. And they are still near. How do we know? Because you got the men of the Lord still out on the highways and byways, Teaching his word and putting up videos on YouTube. Con, verse 7? No. Unless you want it. You want it? Now I got a quick precept then. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1. Mm -hmm. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not. Nor the years draw near. When thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them. Yeah so you have Shema Shai is looking for men to seek him now. You know don't wait. You know, seek Yahweh by Shema Shai right now. You know, in the days of your youth, while you're still a young man, while and also while the prophecies are still young. You know, they're speaking loud and clear now, but when they're in full effect, Yahweh by Shema Shai, when all hell is breaking loose, the Lord, the Heavenly Father, through His only begotten Son, is not going to be accepting repentance in that day. You know, the Lord is going to have no pleasure in you in that day if when all hell breaking loose and you're trying to call upon Him. You know, you want to precept? No, I was, but I'm good. That's probably it on that. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right, go ahead and close this out. So with that, hope you've been edified. It's been another GMS on that go. I'm Brother Nakam. I'm with the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before we go any further, I'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakarkwadash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'm teaching that this truth according to the Bible and rule well. And a double shalom to all the sincere I can throughout the four corners of the earth 
pushing his truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. Shalom. Shalom.